friends in this video we are going to observe management of a post ibiotic cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome this is a three planar incision and now a side port about three clock hours away from the main incision this is a side port of about 1.7 millimeter and now an air bubble is injected but there is some positive pressure in the vitreous and the air bubble is not getting retained nicely so inject some dye through the PI peripheral aridotomy there is some membrane around the margin of the pupil and the size of the pupil is really small about 2.5 millimeter in such cases for application of PHEX we need to stretch the pupil a little bit and make the size of the pupil about 4 millimeter so I took the chopper and uh, this spatula and this much stressing of the people is okay for this case and now some more visco some amount of visco is applied behind the iris to make some room for application of the PHEX and now see what happens the trailing end is stuck in the main incision and when it happens we cannot tuck the leading end at on go we have to place the VHEX completely in the entry chamber inject visco and then try again hold the middle tab again and tuck the leading flange under the iris and then tuck the flange which is at around one o'clock and now I go through the side port in this case there is only one side port now I go through the side port with the BHEX forceps hold the middle tab of this flange and tuck it under the iris in this way and we get a nice hexagonal shape it people size of this people is about 5.5 millimeter and we can manage the case nicely now some amount of visco has been injected in the antechamber as well as over the corneal epithelium and now I'm doing a rexis with the help of this utrita forceps the staining of the anti-capsule is not good but still we can make out the anti-capsule nicely and the rexis is being done and here the rexis is complete now hydrosection hydrosection is done
and now I am using this pre chopper Dr. Sohel's pre chopper to divide the nucleus into two halves it is done and now management of this nucleus will be very easy it is not necessary to subdivide the heminuclei but one can do that see how easily the heminuclei is managed this heminucleus stands and it is emulsified so once a heminucleus is free followability of the lens mass is very good and we can easily manage the heminucleus this is the other heminucleus it is also done and now I'm trying to remove some cortex by the FECO needle itself for this the antichamber stability should be very good the posterior capsule should be far behind and the control over the machine should be excellent so a lot of cortex has come out rest of the cortex we can manage by a simco cannula and this is 2% HPMC filling up the capsula bag and this is being done to protect the corneal endothelium and now this is completion of cortical cleanup so cortical cleanup is done nicely few fibers are here and there we can polish it later also now I fill off the anterior chamber and capsular bag with visco and then implant a single piece monofocal intraocular lens yes the lens is gone in the capsular bag And now some more visco because we have to remove the B hex. And now I take the forceps again, B hex forceps again, hold on flange, pull it centrally, disengage all the flanges and just pull it out and now the viscoelastic substance in this case 2% HPMC is nicely cleaned with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula as well as with the help of bimanual irrigation aspiration go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsula bag
the advantages of using B hex is less trauma to the iris sphincter and the people is around in most of the cases the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber there is some very mild bleeding from some capillaries of the iris so whenever it happens we have to form the anterior chamber firmly and keep the IOP on the higher side to stop that bleeding and here it is the anterior chamber is nicely nicely formed thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.